Hello, in this demo, I'd like to show you how you can build agentic workflows with Dremio. On the screen, what you see is a basic AI agent tool that I made with just slightly over 100 lines of code. And in here, I'm able to ask questions about my purchase data very easily. So I can say, hey, how many, or let's just say, how, yeah, how many purchases do I have that are invoiced but not paid? Okay, and then basically what it's gonna do is gonna pull the data and then give me a response, which we should see right about now. So I have 19 purchases that are invoiced but not paid. Now I can respond, can you give me a few examples of those purchases? Okay, and the AI is gonna go pull the data and then feed that into a prompt, and then I get a response like so. Okay, so I can see a couple of examples of some of the purchase in my data. So you can see here, I can have a conversation with my data. Now, I mentioned this is really only over 100 lines of code. So you can see here, this is just a Flask app application built in Python with just a little over 100 lines of code. I'm not writing a lots of code, having to wrangle data in many different sources and having to do a lot of data prep in my code. And the reason why that is possible is because I am using Dremio. Okay, using Dremio, I'm able to just connect my different data sources so I can connect the, all sorts of different data sources. So that way I don't have to be worrying about mo managing multiple data connections in my AI application. I can then model that data in a semantic layer. So here, what I've done is model my data into a raw layer, which is just basically a couple source tables of where we have basically a fact table and purchases and three dimension tables and customers, products, and store locations. I then joined those tables in my business layer where I just basically create my more clean prepped modeled data. And right now this is a small data set. So basically that power, basically this is what's powering this particular AI agent app, but I can go further model. I can go further and take that purchases table and break that down into specific sort of use cases. So in this case, I have a view just of the purchases in Wisconsin. Now this will become valuable as the data sets get larger and larger and larger. So that way the AI agent isn't pulling more data then it can fit in the context window of the AI model. But Dremio makes it really easy for me to just kind of create all these different views and create the exact sort of versions of the data that I need. And on top of that, I can change data types to different columns, rename columns in order to create data sets that are gonna be ideal for my AI uh, purposes. So I can prepare my data really easy here, which just makes the actual development of the AI agent much easier, much more nimble and much quicker and much easier to iterate on. So that way I can build more and more tools at a rapid pace and a rapid pace to really kind of advance and move together my AI initiatives forward. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this demo. If you haven't tried uh, Dremio, I'll link to a do it yourself AI agent demo right in the uh, video description. All you need to do is bring your own open AI key. And uh, also feel free to reach out to Dremio and try Dremio uh, for free. Enjoy.